Hey guys, it's Dr. Childs here. Uh, today I want to do things a little bit differently. Um, what I want to do is I want to uh, focus on some of the more basic things uh, about thyroid function. And I want to do something called the Thyroid Beginner Series. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be talking about individual and basic concepts about the thyroid. I have about 12 of these listed. And these are going to be about, let's say, five to ten minutes in length, no longer. So they're going to be short and to the point. Uh, and I want to do this because I realize that some of my other videos contain a lot of what I would call advanced information about thyroid function. And so unless you already have a pretty sophisticated understanding or maybe a scientific background, it can be hard to understand some of the things that we're talking about. But if you have this, this basic framework, you can use it. Um, to understand the more advanced topics that we'll get into. So for the next 12 or so uh, videos and, and, and episodes here, we're going to be talking about basic concepts about the thyroid that will help build your foundational knowledge so that you can understand the more difficult concepts which are to come. And so um, let's start with today's. Today's is going to be, um, lesson number one is going to be, what does your thyroid do and why is it so important? And to help illustrate this point, I have an image here, which I think is helpful. Um, and don't let it be confusing. Um, we're going we're gonna to break it down. It's going to be really simple. Um, so don't let it be confusing or anything like that. Um, and I'll explain it in just a minute. But first, I want to talk about the thyroid gland in general. So what is it? Your thyroid gland is an endocrine um, organ or a piece of endocrine tissue, uh, which, which sits at the base of your neck. And it looks kind of like this. Some people say it looks like a butterfly. Um, and kind of right through the middle here is where uh, your trachea sits. So it kind of wraps around the trachea. It's at the base of your neck. And what it does is it just produces hormones. That's all it does. And that's exactly why it's so important. So when we talk about hormones, you need to understand that hormones um, are some of the most powerful molecules and, and, and compounds in your body and that exist in nature. Because these hormones, what they do is they are released from target tissues like your thyroid and they circulate around through your blood into your body, into your cells directly and they make changes at the cellular level. And so this is different from a lot of other things that we talk about in the body, which they float around in your blood and they lock onto the outside of the cells, but they don't directly go right inside of them and change your DNA as it were. And so that's why hormones are, are so powerful. Now, the thyroid gland is one of these powerful um, organs and, and endocrine um, organs inside of your body. And I think it might be one of the, the most important simply because it affects all of the other hormones that are inside of your body. So if there's something wrong with your thyroid, the downstream effects will be that it affects your estrogen levels, your progesterone levels, your testosterone levels. Um, and so it can cause a lot of, a lot of potential issues beside from or aside from the fact that it can cause issues by itself. And so in, in this way, it can cause sort of a chain reaction. All right, so that's sort of the basics of what, where the thyroid sits. It's in your neck um, and what it does. Um, and so let's talk about this image right here. So what we have here, um, and again, don't let it confuse you. We have, basically, you can kind of cut a little line here where the, where the mouse cursor, cursor is and say anything above here is the brain and anything below that is outside of the brain. So what we have here is this image is showing that the brain um, speaks to your thyroid gland. And that makes perfect sense because you can think of your brain sort of as the supercomputer which speaks to your body and tells the, the organs inside your body what they need to be doing based off the information that it receives. And so your blood, your, inside of your brain, there's two components called, um, which help feed information directly through to the thyroid. And those uh, tissues include the hypothalamus and also the pituitary gland. And so what happens is your body is constantly producing... Um, uh, compounds and, and signals that are picked up by the brain. And so they're circulating around in your body um, because, you're, because you're stressed or because your temperature drops or because you're sick um, or because you, you know, haven't eaten enough one day or whatever it is. And your body says, wait a minute, there's something going on here. And it picks that up in the hypothalamus and then it speaks directly to the pituitary gland, um, which is right here. And the pituitary gland secretes a hormone called TSH. And it's helpful to think of TSH more as a pro-hormone, not a direct hormone. Because what TSH does is it then stimulates your thyroid gland, the gland that's in your neck, to produce the thyroid hormones. And the thyroid hormones are the things that do all the heavy lifting in your body. They're the things that you want the most of. Because these thyroid glands are the, are the messengers that go to all of the cells in your body and directly change your cells and they directly change um, your DNA and they produce all of the powerful effects of thyroid hormone. So if there's something wrong in the brain, 
if there's something wrong in the pituitary gland or if there's something wrong in your thyroid gland, this, these things will all potentially cause a change in the amount of thyroid hormone that is released. And if there is a change in the amount of thyroid hormone that's released, that's when you start to get issues. So what happens is under normal circumstances is your body is constantly producing uh, a steady amount of TSH, which tells your thyroid gland everything is good, continue to produce T3 and T4 thyroid hormones. And under normal circumstances, your body does this. Your thyroid says, great, I'm getting the message, pumps out the T4 and the T3, and then those hormones circulate around in your blood to your cells, and they go directly into your, the nucleus, and they change, your genet they change your DNA, okay? And then what happens is you produce these um, proteins and these enzymes um, and these positive effects, which cause your hair to grow, they make you be able to, they, they make your brain function, they make your cognition improve, they increase the force of contraction of your heart, they may increase the, the rate at which your heart beats, your blood pressure, it increases the kinetics of your bowel and how your bowels move, um, increases hair growth, can't remember if I said that already, um, but anyway, it does all of these things. So if there's any problem at all with the amount of T4 or T3 that's being produced, you will have symptoms related to all of the, the good things that it's supposed to normally do. So if T4 and T3 are supposed to make your hair grow, if you don't have enough of it, it's going to fall out. If T4 and T3 are supposed to make you your cognition improve and they're supposed to help you be able to think clearly. If you don't have enough of it, you'll have brain fog. Um, if, if T4 and T3 are, are there to help your connects of your bowel move, help you, um, you know, have normal uh, bowel movements, if they're reduced, then you're going to have constipation. Okay, so that's the way that you kind of want to think about it. I think it's helpful to think about the thyroid as really um, a stimulant or an energizer to the body because all of the, all of the positive effects of T4 and T3 help your body uh, become energized, which means that if there's a reduction in any of the amount of hormone in your body, everything slows down to a halt. Okay, so that means, like I said, you're constipated, your body temperature is low, you're not able to think as clearly, um, you may gain weight because your metabolism is low. All of these things have to do with the amount of, let's say, energy that your body is producing. On the flip side, if it's producing too much, then all of those things are going to be revved up. So you have the exact opposite. So anyway, that is the basics. So really what you need to know here and remember is that the thyroid gland may be one of the most important hormone glands in your body because it produces some of the most important thyroid, some of the most important hormones that go around and they influence every single one of your cells and they do this by directly influencing your DNA. So any issue in either the production of TSH from your brain, the production of thyroid hormone from your body, or how thyroid hormone interacts with your cells will cause the issues um, that many of you may be experimenting. Okay, so that wraps up day one. I want to keep it um, a little bit short and simple. The next thing that we're going to talk about, which is tomorrow, is we're going to be discussing why there's so much controversy around thyroid treatment. So that's going to be a good one because it's going to explain a lot of the issues of why I'm even having to talk about this stuff and why you've probably had so many issues in getting the right treatment and things like that. So you ha if you have any questions specifically about what we've talked about here, please leave them below and I'll do my best to get to those questions. Thanks.